Are you having challenges creating your footwear patterns? Or do you find yourself struggling with shoe pattern drafting? Are you a beginner in shoe making? Do you desire to upgrade your shoe pattern cutting techniques? Then this is for you. Yes, this is for you. I am Uduruli Motivola, your shoe making made easy to talk. Now, I would like to let you know that I have an ebook that I created just with you in mind to relieve you of every challenges as a beginner or for those of us who would love to upgrade our, our pattern cutting when it comes to shoe making. I've created an ebook with over 50 designs. Yes, I mean over 50 templates is what you have there both for adult for children. I created a follow-up class so that even if you are having challenges subsequently, you can still work in that class we can still walk you through and then um, help you to understand your shoe making pattern cutting better that is why that book is a must so what are you waiting for go ahead and order for yours now in this particular class we are going to be starting with a mesh now there are so many ways in which you can brand your footwear now branding in this form that i'm referring to is about customizing your footwear you know putting your stamp or, or your logo on it now you can get a mesh like this those who are into artwork can help you to create a mesh and they will they will also you can also get ink from them you can see we have gb fem for t here i have it in three places they are to cover up the remaining side so that whenever i want to print on my footwear this is the only side this is the only side that will be appearing so you just get the ink apply it on it place it on your footwear and you'll be surprised at what you will have this is something that is very cheap that one can go with this kind of plan for example if you are able to negotiate well you can't spend more than 1500 naira to for them to create this for you and even to get the ink at least you can start with little ink they sell ink they, those people sell ink so you can just use it for this you can start with a mesh like this i'm sure if you tell them what you want to use it for they will explain more about how to use it now this is where i actually started so don't be afraid to start small it's not an offense to start small just start anyhow at the end of the day you grow and you do some other things now apart from this this is for you if you just want to make sure that your your footwear has a stamp this is what this is for immediately you are through with your insole place it on it the way you want it to be positioned apply the the, the ink when you apply the ink on it immediately you place it on your footwear you apply the ink this way you will find out that by the time you remove it it will be on your footwear so the, so that's how to actually use this one i'm sorry i couldn't show us i don't have the ink anymore but i just want us to know that this can actually be used yes just create a mesh it's just a little hard work tell them the fonts you want or if it's a is a logo you want tell them the logo you can make sure they create the logo in about three or four places on that particular mesh so that when this is blocked as you can see now you find that that the m is already ma is, is looking like n the j i is already blocked have so much use it that those sides are already blocked so when you use it like this it will not write your ji very well again that's what this means so i will just cover it up then move to this next one that it's very obvious you can see these ones are still very obvious that is that on using a mesh now let us move to making use of a meta stamp now this is my stamp i've taught us how to buy things on aliexpress i bought mine on aliexpress now the reason i bought mine on aliexpress is because of this particular you can see this hole that is behind it it comes with a screw like this you see a knot and bolt it comes with it like this so i can easily put it at the back this way and then you know this one is just to notice i will show us how to use each and every of this now the reason i told us the reason i bought on aliexpress was because particularly because of this particular knot that is here the knot and the screw that's why i bought it if you want to use this one for example now you can use your plier to hold it use your plier to hold it this way 
put it on fire and let it be hot immediately it's hot you place it right on top of wherever you want to stop it on and press it down that is the advantage that this one has so you can easily hold it this way you can hold it and use but i find out that the ones i have seen locally i don't know about what you have seen but the ones i've seen them produce locally most times does not have this kind of rod at the back doesn't have a screw or not that you can use to hold it i've seen so many people try to use plier to hold it by the side like this so it, for me it's quite it's a lot of work so i believe that ordering this with this rod we with this screw or not we make it easy for you you can hold it with the plier okay at least fire will not arm you or touch you in any way but when you have to look for a fire to a fire or eat to place this on when it doesn't have a rod how will you be picking it you still have to pick it with the plier and try to start arranging it is for me it's quite a lot of work so with this you have everything all put together i can put the link in the description for us to see how to buy on aliexpress just go for a leather stamp and you will tell them you are you, they will even tell you that if you want to customize send us whatever you want just let me know whatever you the help you need me to help you with when you want to make your order or whatever now let me quickly show us how to go about this now apart from the fact that i can use this on a heater I can also make use of my sodium ion to use this. Yes, my sodium ion. I can use it to use it. Now, this is my sodium ion. All you need to do is to loosen this side a little bit. Just loosen this side. Don't mind me. Loosen the side. Just loosen it a little bit. After that, pick up your plier and try to use it to remove this. You can see that it has come out. Now, insert this into it. And then screw it down. Screw it down. Now, if you find out that when you inserted it, it's not, like mine is very loose. Even when I tied in it, it's not working perfectly. It's still very loose. So it means if I turn it this way, it will remove. Now, what I, I did was I tried to pack it. I tried to get something to pack it. It's just to use and remove i just try to pack it i try to place something right in there and then place it in so i find out that now when i tighten it it will can you see that it's not removing so what you need to do is just plug your eat your your sodium iron by the time you plug it definitely this side of it too will be hot what you do next is just place it on whatever sander or palm you want to use it on place it on it and press it down a little bit by the time you press it down whatever is on your if it's a logo whatever it is will be reflecting on your leather yes it will reflect on your leather so that is one advantage i also see with the one i bought online i find out that i can use it with a sodium hand you can see what i have if you don't have a stamp now there is actually a stamping machine that particularly is supposed to do the job if you don't want to make use of a sodium high on now you can see this is a stamping machine what happened is that this stamping machine it has a eater like the one i have is an uh, it is, is an is analog some are digital and um, which is which is like there's a thermometer here that reads the temperature of that heater that eats your stamp so if it is this kind of a stamping machine that you bought what you need to do is now for this crew is an added advantage again it's an added advantage if you you will try to fix it there's an opening here it comes with an opening so i'm going to try to i'm going to fix it into this opening now when i try to fix i find out that it's not easy for me to put the the the, the knot into this side and then fix this so what i did is i try to open this i, I try to open this side i open this you can see i try to open this so when i open it you can see i've removed it i now systematically put this into it as in you can do it this way sorry i had to place it that way so that we can see it let me turn it this way so that we can see what i'm trying to do 
now you can see the opening so i'm just going to place this this way i'm going to place it this way i can try to insert this from here So just make sure you do this gently. Let your screw be attached. This is it. Attach it here. So when you attach it, you can see it's, or it's coming down. So push it off. I told you it comes with a, a, a boat. So pull the boat. You just have to do it gently so that you can achieve the results that you want. So as you can see, I'm already fixing it on that side. Now, it's not compulsory that you go through this my route. You can decide to work on this screw. This ones you can open, you can loosen it and push it. This uh, you can see. I think it's size forty eight spanner. You can just use it to loosen it, then pull it down or up, so that you can fix your stamp on this particular side. So you can see what I have now. I'm just going to return this, and I'm going to fit all of them into it. Now, as you can see, that this light is on. I normally make use of about 150 to 200 degrees Celsius for my heating. So with, within that range, I'm always getting the result I want. And for every of your leather, you really have to be careful. If you are, if you are stamping a leather, if you are stamping a Nora, you have to be very careful. For Nora, you might have to use about 200. You can see it's at 100. It's, at an, it's an analog. I told us it's analog. We have some that are digital. So now we have an undo here that we use to push it up and down when we want to stamp it. Now, I told us earlier that if you are making use of a, a, a sodium iron, for example, now all you need to do is just the same process. Just press it on it like we have an handle here that does the same work now i want to quickly show us how we do our stamping don't forget i've already fixed fix our our stamp here this is our main stamping machine now let me quickly do that for us to see now that it is at about um, 100 and um, five i think i can try and use for us to see So you just try to press it down for some time, maybe for like 30 seconds. So to say, or do every letter, it is different. Now you can see what I have. Now for our foil, it comes in different color. Now you can see that mine is good. It comes in roll like this. I also bought this online. Although I didn't buy my stamping machine online because it tends to be much more expensive because of the weight. So I bought it from one of my, you know, shoe material shop here in Nigeria. So, but I bought this, the foil online as well as the stamp. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly use this for us to see how it is used. Used. now this is my leather place it on it I've cut a little out. I'm going to place it on it gently then push it in make sure that you adjust it in such a way that it will be at the point you want it to be so now that is hot place it right on it you can see I just placed it on it remove gently you can see what i'm having here we are having gb fm 40 and also on this side you can see our gb fm 40 if you don't have foil it will so it will all still show very well it's just that you know it's a blend on the leather but with the gold or silver or whatever color you choose to use 
this is what it will look like you can see that this is this has actually bring it out so i think with this you should be able to know what step to take on branding your footwear if you are new my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell so that each time i upload a video you will be notified thank you for being part of today's class and don't forget i still have the, the our free training is still coming up on the 15th and 16th of march this year so please if you are interested let me know and let me send you the link so that you can join and not miss the class thank you so much for watching i'm gonna see you next time bye